all good pilgrimage site. Okay, so we ripped off the Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego theme song. But hey, we tried. Random Catholic thoughts, list videos, and more for Bored Lady. The practice of making a pilgrimage is ancient and holy, and not limited to Christianity. It is a practice that is designed to draw you deeper into your faith. But where to go? Obviously, it should be somewhere that has meaning for you. Perhaps even one of the following. So here are eight amazing pilgrimages. Before going any further, here's the obligatory request to subscribe and click the bell icon. The Holy Land, Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Ah, the Holy Land, where Christ walked upon the earth. Every Christian should visit the Holy Land in their lifetime. The two essential sites are, of course, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem and the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. We here at RCT have been to these locations and can tell you from experience to expect large crowds. Also, due to the complicated political situation in the region, best to go with a designated tour group, and it's very important to keep any documentation and identification, like your passport, secure and up-to-date at all times. The Holy Sepulchre is where Christ died and was laid in the tomb. It contains several stations of the cross. While at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, you can see what is believed to be the exact spots where Christ was born and where he lay in the manger. If you take a brief walk down the road from the church, you can pray at the Milk Grotto, where Mary nursed Jesus. Tradition says that the Holy Family briefly took refuge here during the slaughter of the innocents prior to leaving for Egypt. Loch Derg, Ireland. According to legend, Christ once showed a cave to St. Patrick that was on this island that is supposedly an entrance to purgatory. According to historical fact, documents have noted this as a holy site since the 1100s. The famous three-day pilgrimage requires you must be at least 15 years old and in good enough physical condition to withstand the barefoot walking and the long hours of kneeling and prayer, not to mention the fasting. Pilgrims eat only one simple meal each day. Right off the bat, on day one is a 24-hour vigil, no sleeping. This is a pilgrimage that is truly designed to rip you away from the modern world and to bring you into a deeper connection to the spiritual world. Never mind elbowing through flocks of tourists wielding selfie sticks in grand basilicas. Smaller groups of pilgrims gather in the summer months to slow down, contemplate, and pray. Admission is 75 euros or about 85 US dollars. So this video is part one of six. For the next entry, you will need to make a pilgrimage of your own. Head on over to the channel Kid Catholic. We will see you back here on RCT for part six of six, the final stage of this YouTube pilgrimage. Thank you very much.